Ah, oh, the economic order quantity in this question. My favorite formula. The economic order quantity, I've got to calculate it for this inventory item to the nearest whole unit. I love the economic order quantity, and I don't need to look on the formula sheet, although I know it's on there, because it's so easy to remember. The economic order quantity is the square root of two times cod on chips, C-O-D over C-H. I can remember it really easily. Who can't remember cod on chips? But you need to know what each of the symbols stand for. And so let's run through those. CO is the cost of ordering one unit. Now, can we get that out of the... Oh, uh, is it in here? Holding cost. The cost of placing an order is $20. Excellent. The cost of ordering here is 20 what about D? D is total annual demand. Do we have that in the question? It tells us that it's a three month period. Wow, that's annoying because D is for a full year. So to get this up to a full year, I'm going to have to get from three months up to a full year of 12 months. So 12 months in a full year divided by three months in this period, that means there are four three-month periods. So my annual demand is four times this three-month amount of 20,000. So my annual demand comes out at 80,000. I'm using K here to represent 1,000. And what about the bottom of the formula, CH? Now, that's the cost of holding one unit for one year. Am I told what CH is in this question? Oh, the annual holding cost for one unit. Oh, that's good. It's already given it to me annual, annual. So that's the format I want it is 6% of its purchase price. So I'm going to have to work out 6% of this $25. 25 times 0 0.06 because 0.06 is 6%, isn't it? So what does that come out as? Oh, my cost of holding one unit for one year is one and a half dollars. Ah, so now I've got all of the numbers in the format I need them. The cost of ordering a, a, an order is $20. My annual demand is $80,000. And my cost of holding one unit for one year is one and a half dollars. So now I just need to put my figures into the formula. Okay, so far so good. But I need to be careful. The very last thing that I do when I'm putting this into my calculator is do the square root bit. That's the very last step. So what I like to do, first of all, is simplify my numbers as much as possible. So let's do that. So multiplying out the top line, it comes to 3.2 million. And there's nothing actually to simplify on the bottom line. The bottom line is just 1.5. I'm just going to move over here so that we can work on this one screen. So to simplify this even further, I'm now going to do the dividing. So I'm going to do my 3.2 million divided by 1.5. And that comes out as a nasty long number. 2.133 million. And a little bit of change too. Lots of threes. What a horrible number. Now I'm going to keep that number in my calculator. And the very last step I'm going to do is press my square root button and press answer. So of that particular number, and it comes out at 1460.59. OK, now let's go make sure we've read the question properly. Oh, it's asking us to round to the nearest whole unit. So this 1460.59, one final trick, that needs to be rounded to 1461 because it's over 0.5 and therefore it's closer to 1461 than it is to 1460. Oh, what a fiddly, tricky question. But well done if you got it right.